What's up guys? Welcome back to Fisher Hex. My name is Travis. In today's video, we're going to talk about our new projects and what's going on here in the fish room besides the fact that it's really, really dirty. Now, I wanted to get this video out because I have to ship coral this afternoon. I'm going to be uh, meeting up with somebody to drop off that other low boy and I needed to get some of this done so I can move on because uh, when I have a project in the back of my head, it's very difficult to focus on other things if I don't start working on it immediately. So, now that I got the plumbing done for the new tank, which is actually our old frag tank, the 40 gallon deep blue rimless uh, system here with the overflow, this will be our new shallow Acropora reef. Now I'll show you guys the whole process of aquascaping. I'm gonna be trying something new this time, uh, basically as a test to see how it grows out with shading and how Acropora interact. So when I have our uh, my new tank uh, here, when we replace the 300 gallon or upgrade from the 300 gallon, I'm going to be doing a different type of aquascaping because the one that I currently have in there is a huge pain in the ass and we've talked about that in the last few videos. So, alright, this build here, it has no lighting over it. The reason for that is I'm pretty sure that I'm going to just put these four AI primes back over this tank and then put our Kessels over this because as I mentioned in the video I posted the other day, we're going to be doing a comparison on growth coloration and all that good stuff when we have either AI primes, Kessels, and then we have the Radions and T5s on the frag tank, I mean on the 300. So it's gonna be good to get a uh, co comparison of how the same corals interact with different lightings in the same water column. So that's gonna be a nice thing to check out over the, the next six months or so. Now, uh, when it comes to plumbing these two tanks, granted, it's not pretty. I don't really like how the stands are interacting with each other, one sticking out more than the other. I mean, that kind of stuff bothers me, but uh, I didn't want to spend more money to build new stands and deal with that whole process, so it is what it is, and it serves a purpose. So when it comes to plumbing, we'll work our way back over. Let's go ahead and get to the sump here. It's going to be loud because I have to top off with water that I just mixed because of the new uh, flow pattern. But we have two... Jabo DCS 12,000s. Now, if you guys remember, the one on the left is from the uh, frag system, which I upgraded to a Jabo DCS 18,000. And right off the bat, I'm just going to answer the question: Why didn't I just buy another 18,000 or re or swap out the one on the frag tank since I'm not using as many low boys? Well, uh, for one, I didn't feel like swapping it out. I just didn't want to do the plumbing on that. And then the second reason I didn't want to buy a new one is because that the price of them went from like 150 for the other one to over 200 to 300 dollars directly from china so yeah it's just too expensive and i had this dcs 12,000 laying around i cleaned it up last night with vinegar and plumbed it straight through so when it comes to plumbing it's three quarter inch to a ball valve which i can turn off when i need to take pictures or whatever for whatever reason i always put a ball valve for if i just need to turn it off it doesn't serve a purpose other than being wide open right now but it is what it is so that's going to come back behind the 300 Still messy over here, gonna do all this freaking wiring again. Comes up through, tees off to another ball valve. Now, I do have barbs that were originally on this frag tank, so instead of buying new bulkheads, I saved a little bit of money. I just went ahead and continued the soft tubing and uh, went ahead and just plumbed it to a ball valve, which allows me to adjust the flow directly into the tank. And then the drain comes down as well in, uh, from the uh, tubing. So uh, that comes all the way through here to where it pops out to the end and we have another ball valve and the line goes up to that tank so um same thing the tube comes back down to the drain and continues its way to the sump back over to our one input here so it's full i gotta change out the filter socks i just cleaned a shit ton of them so we're swapping some of those out here once i get done with the video but uh yeah so that's the plumbing for the system i like having the second pump uh, a couple reasons. One, I love having an unlimited amount of flow to these two tanks and um, also being able to adjust the flow and not take anything away from the main display. And uh, it's just nice. I just really like having that. I can put more flow through my refugium now, uh, more through the UV sterilizers and also through the carbon reactor. So it's nice to have that additional pump. And the fact that I had it laying around really makes the build that much better. So uh, let's see what else I want to talk about here. Um, what's missing so yes of course we're missing two low boys the ai prime or ap 700s are sitting over there i'm probably going to donate one of those and i probably will raffle one off at the frag swap i haven't quite decided yet because i'm working on some other stuff but went ahead and relocated our packing bench over here because it works out well because a lot of the coral that we are packing are coming from the imported system and when i need to get anything from 
the actual uh, 300 gallon frag tank. I don't even know. I'm missing my frag cart. Oh, here it is. Jesus. I could just move my uh, frag cart over and pack everything up. Look at this place. It's a freaking mess. Um, but yeah, so definitely, uh, definitely like the layout. I don't like the way it looks, but I like um, how it's kind of coming together and it's going to be very functional and, and just having another, I feel like I'm getting another display tank that I can just do anything I want and grow whatever I want. And it's nice because we are, it's blue as shit, by the way. I, it's just, we're out of room. I've complained about this. I got to pull out a couple more colonies that are shading out. Nothing too huge, but uh, I'm really, I love this scape when it grows in, but man, is it brutal when it comes to corals and how they treat each other in this tank. It's just, it sucks, but it is what it is. And uh, you know, le lessons learned for future builds, I suppose. But uh, yeah, so this is my mess. Let me see if I can back up without stepping on too much. And, uh, yeah, definitely uh, like how everything is turning out. And um, you guys should look forward to a video on the aquascaping probably Thursday or Friday. It's going to be in on Wednesday, most likely. It is shipped today. So, yeah, probably here Wednesday. And I am going to be aquascaping this tank dry. Of course, I'm going to clean it up before we start the video and start all that stuff. We're going to be testing, again, some, some different type of aquascaping. I'm not really quite sure exactly what route I'm going to go. i got to keep it low, of course. I gotta keep it open, it's gonna be bare bottom, gotta allow enough flow to get through there, but I also wanna have the room for the corals to grow out and probably start coming out of the water. Just stepping on everything. But uh, yeah, that's it, that's my messy, messy, messy fish room. We are going to Ohio to do this tank for the veterans program next month. Definitely looking forward to that. Scott from Rascals Reef is going to help me uh, film everything. We'll get that together. It's going to be kind of uh, oh, one day out. We'll leave in the morning. We'll go and uh, take care of that and then come back later in the afternoon. Um, I wonder how many times I said definitely. You guys should go back and watch the video and let me know in the comment section because I feel like I said it a lot. And I only use it as a filler because I don't know what else I'm going to say. And I don't want to be here like, uh, like, uh, you know, a dumbass. So, all right. That's about it, guys. I'm done rambling seven minutes in. And I will see you guys Wednesday or Thursday or maybe next week. Who knows? Peace.